Hi, and welcome to this five minute masterclass. This week I want to share with you some of the signs you may see in young people and older teenagers around domestic abuse. It's one of the areas that's most um, left out when looking at domestic abuse. I think we can all call to mind the issues in relation to parents um, or to women specifically, but this can become much harder when you're looking at teenagers and you're looking at young people. And so in this week's masterclass, I want to give you five things for you to consider as possible signs of domestic abuse in young people and in teenagers. Now, this may be um, domestic abuse between teenagers. And I think it's harder when you're looking at domestic abuse between teenagers because you're looking at not only the hormonal changes that are happening, but also you've got to look at what is right for that particular person and what are the, the sort of changes you would expect to see for that teenager, given their past performance and their, their current presentation. So really in today's masterclass, I just want to give you these five things to think about to maybe prompt that little alarm bell to ring so that you can make further inquiries if that's necessary or um, just to monitor the situation if you think there is an issue. So the first thing counts predominantly for girls and that's that they start to wear more makeup. Now this could be because of peer pressure, it could be because they are being asked or told by their partner that they need to wear more makeup. It could simply be because they're still experimenting. But if you've got a, a young girl who's maybe not worn makeup before and is suddenly wearing an awful lot of it, that may raise questions for you about what actually is happening. And that may increase when you look at the other things that are happening. So the second thing to consider is, um, for boys and girls, is there a change in their clothes? They may have had a particular style that you've seen um, them wear outside of school. They may have worn their uniform in a particular way. But have you noticed a change in the way their uniform's being worn that's perhaps a little more excessive than you'd have expected for just teenage experimentation with the limits of a uniform that they have? It may be easier to spot this if you work in an environment where there are no school uniforms and it is a case of they come in their everyday clothes and so you may see a change there. For girls, are they wearing more expensive clothes? Are they wearing clothes that you think that raises questions about where they got them from or in what stores they're shopping? For boys, are they wearing something that's completely different to what they used to wear? Um, how do they feel in it? Do they look comfortable in it? Do they look as if they're trying to impress somebody? Or do they look really nervous in the outfit they've got on? Or are they looking a bit anxious about the way they carry themselves? The third thing to consider is their friendship groups. We know that teenagers' friendship groups can fluctuate, particularly for girls, um, quite a lot, but especially in their early years within um, their sort of late after sort of 10 to maybe 15, that they, they do change quite a lot. But are you noticing that, along with the makeup and with the change of clothes, that their peers are acting differently with them or that they're pushing their peer group away, they're not looking with that same set of friends? Um, do they appear to be becoming isolated from that peer group? Is that because of the friends they're with or is that something else that's going on? And so that leads to the fourth thing. Is there always somebody with them? Is this new partner always with them? Are they there to meet them after class? Are they there to meet them before school? Are they there when they walk through the door and they have to be shooed away so they can sit down in class? Are they there when they come out of break time? Are they there when they come out at after school time? Are you able to get this person on their own at all? Or are you really struggling to get this person away um, to speak to them on their own? And finally, the fifth thing I want you to consider is mobile phones and 
mobile devices. We know that for teenagers and young people, this is their lifeline. You take that away from them and their entire world can start to crumble very, very quickly. But are those phones being monitored? Are you seeing this other person have hold of that phone and then pass it back to the person? Are you seeing them check phones? Are you seeing um, interactions that are maybe worrying you about conversations that are happening about who's that text message from or why were you talking to them? That's a bit more than just the general inquisitiveness that a boyfriend or girlfriend may have. So this is simply food for thought in this very short masterclass. But the five things to consider are, are they wearing more makeup? Are they having a change of clothes? It's completely different to what they used to be wearing. Are their friendship groups being pushed away or changing completely? Is someone else always there waiting for them? And finally, are mobile phones being monitored? Get that little alarm bell to ring and watch out in our members club for the team safety planning document that you can find within the members club that's specifically for members. Until next time, thank you very much.